she was shy, very loving, loved the Lord, singing and being goofy and very caring. Very caring. She loved both soccer and basketball, but I think especially basketball. Uh, Christiana, at about age seven, started complaining of her wrist joints hurting. And we didn't know what it was for a while, but she was diagnosed with juvenile arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. Um, it took a while to get that under control, but eventually they got medication, cortisone shots, and she was fine. She was diagnosed with another autoimmune disease, very rare, called juvenile dermatomyositis, which affects skin, muscles, and her muscles started to degenerate. She actually had 900 donors. I mean, she had blood transfusions every day. She was having kidney failure, so she had dialysis every day. Um, she had a you know swollen heart. She had diabetes. She had fluid around the lungs. Yeah, flu fluid around the lungs. And she passed away in December of 2005. It was just uh, it was unreal. I just couldn't. And my girls, my girls. Evelyn and Serena, they, they, they really didn't have a clue. They were, we all were shocked, we, you know, because there's that denial in a little, in a way, because uh, you just don't want it to happen. Um, and uh, we were all just so devastated. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, I can't even just, I can't describe what we felt. We have people calling us that. Uh, their friends have lost children. And so we're able to help them go through the same mourning process we've gone through. You know, different, it happens in, in different ways, but we're able to, to comfort them. I mean, in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, it talks about God who provides us the comfort so that we in turn can, can comfort others that are going through the same thing we are. The other big change in our family is we all wanted to go into the social sector and, and work. Uh, so what we were doing with technology, because we were both in technology, we decided this is just not fulfilling anymore. This is not what we're supposed to be doing. So we just completely shifted. Like I went to Green Pastures and worked with disabilities. Dwight left Hewlett Packard and decided to work for Envision Shelter Network. So he's working with homelessness. And my girls, one is, is going to be a social worker and the other one is uh, gonna work in the social sector, do social impact consulting. I mean, and she went to the Peace Corps. So we're all, all four of us, I think this experience has taught us that it's really about the people. It's about um, making an impact in people's lives. And I don't think that would have happened. Mm -mm. I don't think that would have mm -mm. happened. It just changed us completely in how we looked at life.